Uh, if you ever have to remove a resolver from a motor, uh, say for example you're going to take this motor apart and have it rewound, this resolver is going to have to come off. This resolver is timed to the poles of the motor. This motor will not run right based upon that feedback if it's not timed to the poles of the motor. So we have to document the position of that resolver on that shaft in relation to the poles of the motor. You can't just put this resolver back on there willy-nilly and expect it to work. It won't. There's so many places you, you can set that resolver on there and tighten it down. Um, so I'm going to show you a little trick on how to document the position of that resolver in relation to the poles of the motor. You'll need a power supply. It has to be a beefy one. This one right here is a, a 5 amp version. It'll source 5 amps. Um, you'll need your function generator, an oscilloscope, set up just like um, we have here. And I'll show you all this setup right here at the end of the video. So what we want to do is we're going to apply this uh, 5 volt, 5 amp to uh, the in input windings of the motor, the U, V, and W. And we want to find a locked rotor position that will either make the sine max and the cosine flat line or vice versa the sine flat line and the cosine at max and we'll write down who we made positive and who we set at ground on the windings of the motor UV and W who made that condition and when the motors reassembled and we put that resolver back on there we'll lock the rotor by putting positive 5 volts here and ground there or wherever and we'll rotate the resolver until we have that condition duplicated. Let me show you how it works. Let me start here and I might get lucky. This is W. We'll put positive on W. We'll put ground on V. We'll turn it on. Okay. That condition is not satisfied. We can see right here that we have a sine and a cosine. So let's turn the power supply off. We'll move our ground to U. We'll leave the positive on W. Okay, the condition is not satisfied. Let's move our positive to V, and you can do this in any order, just remember it. Okay, here our condition is not satisfied. We want one of them to flatline. Okay, let's take W, or the ground, back to W. Make sure I don't short those out. Okay, again, our condition's not met. We want one of these to flatline. Let me take the positive over to U. We'll short those out. Nope, not yet. Let's take ground over to V. There we go. We found it. Okay, 
So positive on U, ground on V, gives us a flat line condition. The sine is flat lined and the cosine is at max. So now when we put this back together, we'll write all this down and it has to be hooked up exactly the way you took it apart. And when we go to put that resolver in here, we'll rotate it until the sine is flat line and the cosine is at max amplitude. There you go. That was neat. That's a neat little trick if you ever have to take a resolver off the back of a servo motor. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun.